This screencast is based on Module 2, Lesson 13, where we make conversions among uh, units of measure within a system. And we are going to be working with converting larger units to smaller units today. Okay, first we have convert yards to feet. Alright, we have a certain protocol here that we'd like you to stick with. Uh, I think it, it helps deepen your understanding and the procedure is not that onerous. So let's begin. I've given you a template for this. Uh, you can use that template to help guide you. Uh, but we're going to now talk about we have converting yards to feet. So we're going to make a statement here. Um, 55 and 7 tenths yards. equals 5 and 7 tenths times 1 yard. Now we're going to take that, repeat the 5 and 7 tenths times. 1 yard is equal to how many feet? The answer is 3 feet. So now we need to multiply 5 and 7 tenths times 3. and we get 17 and 1 tenths. So the answer is 17 and 1 tenth feet. Let's do another example. Now we're going to convert grams or kilograms to grams. So we'll begin by writing our original amount, 6 and 8 hundredths kilograms equals six and eight hundredths times one kilogram and that's the same as six and eight hundredths times what? Well, how many grams are in a kilogram? That would be a thousand. So we're making that connection between these two units. So now we have to multiply that out. Now, this, uh, it doesn't make any sense to do this. And some of you are still in the habit of doing that. What we want to do is think about where we are in the place value chart. Now we're multiplying by a thousand, so each one of our places has to increase. So if I have six is now in the ones place, it's going from the ones place. And can we draw that chart? Now I'm going to do a little erasing here. There we go. And now we're going to put in our place values. I have my ones, my tens, my hundreds. We'll go to the thousands. And one tenth and one hundredth. Just to review this, we're going to move each one of these digits three places to the left. We need to put in a zero here. So our answer becomes six thousand eighty grams. Quick little review there. Again, I've seen some of you revert to the habit of doing this, and that doesn't make any sense. And of course, most of you now just move decimals uh, and, and to figure this out. We know how many places to move it by the number of zeros in our factor. Let's go on to pounds to ounces. Again, 12 and 5 tenths pounds equals 12 and five tenths times one pound. That's the same as twelve and five tenths times, well how many ounces in a pound? The answer would be sixteen times sixteen ounces, put in our parentheses. Simple matter of multiplying. Twelve and five tenths 
times 16. Regroup. And now multiply from our tens place. Since we're multiplying uh, by 1 in the tens place, that's very easy. Now we'll find the sum of our partial products. And that is tenths. So 12 and 5 tenths times 16 is 200. 200 what? Ounces. Let's do a couple more examples. The other side uh, pretty much uh, is the same thing, except they appear as words. So they'd like you to make a statement at the end. Okay, so we have a small female gorilla weighs 68 kilograms. How much does she weigh in grams? Same procedure as before. I have 68 kilograms equals 68 times 1 kilogram. And that's equal to 68 times how many grams in a kilogram? That would be a thousand. We'll simply multiply that out. 68 times a thousand is 68 thousands, or 68 thousand. Uh, she weighs 68,000 grams. And we'll label that grams as well. One last example. This is really quite a simple lesson. It says a coyote weighs 11 and 3 tenths pounds. Convert the coyote's weight to ounces. Sticking with our procedure, 11 and 3 tenths pounds equals 11 and 3 tenths times 1 pound equals 11 and 3 tenths. How many ounces in a pound? That would be 16. Now we need to multiply 11 and 3 tenths times 16. And multiply from the tens. And again, 1 in the tens place makes this very easy. Yeah. Add our partial products. And our coyote weighs 180 and 8 tenths ounces. The coyote weighs 180 and 8 tenths ounces. And that's our last example. Homework's not that bad. Not this time.